Red Cross, they kept coming to say I should go back into the car. I told them, no, I'll finish. The objective was to finish the five kilometers, and it was really fun doing it. What, what, what motivated you to take the prize? Well, um, I really don't exercise much, so I saw this as a chance to get myself outside and keep running and exercising because it's good. And uh, I just kept going and going, even though I stopped sometimes. And I was laughed at at sometimes, but I just kept going to finish. The most amazing thing is you beat your mother. Yeah. <laughs> finish ahead of me. <laughs> I knew I was going to finish before her, so. I already get you. Tell, you will tell dad that you, you, you finish ahead of mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, how difficult was it? It was pretty hard. My legs are hurting, but it was OK. So any advice to your like your ones like you who would probably be watching and would like to also participate in the other ones? Well, all, all I can say is as long as you believe in yourself and know that you're gonna finish, then you can make it. And your final work? Uh, yeah, I, th uh, we, I wish we had known this earlier so we could have prepared a better, but I think we'll try again as as and as and when there are other events like this. I think they're really good and they should keep on doing more events to keep people outside. There were also runners from outside of the Gambia, such as Amanda and team from the United Kingdom. Well, I'm with Amanda again. Uh, talk to her at the finish, at the starting point, and here she is at the finishing line. But I'm not seeing you cross the line. Yeah, no, we we stopped just down there, around the corner, and we caught the bus just this last bit. So it just got too hot in the end. It's very, very hot. Tell me, how what was the experience like? Very good, very good. Really, really, really enjoyed it. So. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. Loved it. I would have loved it if it wasn't quite so hot, but no, it was fine. What is the fine. difference between the ones you run in the UK and this one? Um, in England, um, because it's so much cooler, you can run without getting too tired, but it's, your roads are so much better than our roads. That road is a very perfectly flat road, uh, but no, it was great. It's flatter as well in England. It's very, very, very hilly, so, um, so it was nice to run a flat flat race so yes you said it was fun you enjoyed it and we hope to see you yes, yes. the winners were presented with trophies while the rest of the participants were all certificated the bajana marathon came to pass with organizers describing it as a huge success the main aim is for these institutions to connect with the local people and for them to see the need for help in projects that will improve their lives and to invest in village development projects the Gambian volunteers would like to remind all of you who are present today that you ran the toughest race in the Gambia as the sun is very hot, but you all made it to the finishing line. I thank you very much for taking all this time. I am sure, I am sure you will always remember this race in Bajana as you have sweat under this heat and you will always remember Bajana village and for new prefect for any development project that you may foresee or have in your coffers, you will remember for the benefit. The event climax with an exciting tug of war between two wards from the Bajana village. <laughs> You're watching sports tonight, and when we return in a moment, you will hear from two football greats, Pele and Neymar, two Brazilian superstars of different generation. Don't miss it. Pele is arguably one of the greatest footballers to ever grace the pitch. The Brazilian legend has helped his country to three World Cup titles, scoring over 1,000 astonishing goals in an illustrious career before hanging up his boots. With the World Cup set to kick off in less than 36 days in his home country, the former Santos star has been telling CNN he quitted the game at the right time. We expect it will be a fantastic show. The World Cup always is a big part. The World Cup will be fantastic. We are the more technical, but uh, still the football, the Brazilian football, still is the beautiful and the best football in, in the world, no doubt. And also to talk about the football in general all over the world, 
Football is the biggest family in the world, you know. Every place, every country, you see the kids, uh, the people play football. You know, it's different than the political situation. What would you give up or pay for to be able to play one more World Cup game if you could? I love God because God gave me the, the intelligence to stop in my best. You know? I stop uh, when I was champion with the Cosmos, New York Cosmos. I stopped when I was champion with Santos in Brazil. I stopped when I was champion of the world with the Brazilian national team. God gave him this gift. I am very happy with this. And as Brazil braces up for the World Cup, much is expected from the host nation's playmaker, Neymar. Also a former Santos star, but currently plying his trade in Spain for the Catalan club, Barcelona. Can Numa lead the Sambas to a record a six World Cup title on home soil? Nema is presently Brazil's best player, following in the footsteps of Pele. Well, the Barcelona star has also been speaking to CNN's Amanda Davis about the World Cup ambition and as well as his controversial move to the Catalan Giants. The big question, will you be right for the World Cup? Stay <laughs> pronto. Estarei, não tem problema nenhum, a lesão contra a Copa do Mundo. O problema foi agora que eu não pude ajudar meus, meus companheiros, né? Espero tudo agora na torcida, torcendo para que eles possam fazer ótimos jogos e que a gente possa chegar no último jogo para decidir o título. Eu must ask you, there have been uh, the, the protests, the violence in the build-up to the World Cup. Do you understand why people are upset? Protestar, acho que não vejo problema nenhum. Desde que ele seja, é, seja sem pacífico, sem violência, sem vandalismo. Acho que se estou de acordo, é, é, se for para a melhoria do Brasil, tem que protestar sim. Neymar's been a star in his home country for years, but last year's multi-million dollar transfer to Barcelona from Brazilian club Santos catapulted him onto the world stage. But allegations of tax irregularities by the Spanish club and additional payments of millions of dollars to Neymar's father's company have seen the transfer, not the player, become the story. While all parties accept additional payments were made, Barcelona and Neymar's family deny any wrongdoing in the transfer. The deal remains under criminal investigation and it sparked separate legal action by Santos against Neymar's father, who serves as his agent. You have spoken out in defense of your father, who obviously means a lot to you in terms of your transfer here. Given you spent so much of your life at Santos, how disappointed are you with how they have dealt with the issue? I was very disappointed Santos né, lidou com, com todo esse, né, sabíamos que, que estávamos certos, né, não tínhamos feito nada de errado, né, mas a forma que o Santos lidou me deixou muito triste de verdade, né, agora é fazer o quê? Né, a gente não pode, eu não posso responder por eles, nem falar por eles, mas eu falo por mim e pelo meu pai, né, que realmente a gente ficou muito triste como, como eles queriam resolver é, esse tipo de coisa. Has it changed how you think of your time at Santos? Eu estou triste com, com a diretoria, estou triste com, com quem estava na presidência. Esse sim, eu estou chateada, mas com o clube, torcida, jogadores, não. Acho que não tive problemas com eles. É, pelo, pelo, muito pelo contrário, tenho um carinho muito grande pelo Santos, porque foi um clube que eu, tô, que eu fiquei 10 anos. Né? How much do you think it has maybe affected your performance on the pitch in the last few months? No, no, I think no. I think I always try to leave all these problems aside. I'm a guy who's tranquil about this. It's hard to see everyone talking about things that are not true, but it doesn't affect anything in the field. And how do you see your relationship with Lionel Messi? Good. É, esse ano a gente praticamente é, não jogou quase todos os jogos juntos, né, mas é, acho que a afinidade que a gente tem, que a gente vem criando é muito boa. 
é, porque 